Hey guys, it's Suki, and welcome to episode 19 of OA Wrestling. Uh, the week that the week in which I guess we'll, you know, well, I guess we'll call it the week in which WB shit itself. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know if I can actually put that as the title. We'll we'll see. We'll see if YouTube allows it. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so yeah. There's some interesting things to talk about this week, and uh, to join me so far this week, we do have a uh, light load of people this week. But I, I don't know if maybe that's maybe that's maybe that's better for conversation. I don't know, but uh, but joining me for this week to start to talk about everything is first off Cole. Hey. Bye. I don't know. I was expecting to actually go somewhere with that. <laughs> I didn't. I, I was thinking. I got nothing. Yep. All right. Well, the other person joining 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 me this week is going to be Chef Joe. Nineteen episodes. Nineteen yep. is my lucky number. Yep. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we're uh, yeah. AJ AJ has has chosen to. Uh, take a sh take a little bit of a leave from the show for for a bit, uh, just to, to, yeah, just to kind of just to kind of uh, rec I, don't, I don't know, but he basically gets some things going on with him. We'll we we'll, won't go that far into it. Mm -hmm. So, but with let's see, with that, uh, we are working on possibly getting some getting maybe like I don't want to say a replacement, but just some somebody to basically fill the gap. Mm -hmm. I guess while you know, while that because we all you know we're also missing Sarge and, uh, and everything, but. But with that, so, eh, screw it. We we all know we ha what we have to t we all we all know who we have to talk what we have to talk about to start off. Like I said, WB WB Creative pretty much shit themselves once they uh, after Seth Rollins blew out his knee. Literally the day be day after our last episode. Yeah, the day after our well, actually no, I think it was during. Wait, was it, or no, no, it was a house show. It wasn't a SmackDown taping. It was okay. a house show, yeah. But um, and it's funny because it's it's like they literally confirm the they they literally confirm the the World Heavyweight Title match. They they they're ready to they're ready to build it to to build it and actually do. I don't know. They actually had time to do to get some story there, especially since they already had something to build off of. And. Uh, and yeah, basically by freak accident, with him Seth Seth Rollins literally tore every ligament in his knee. Yep. Hold the Nash. I thought oh. Nash was a quad. He pulled a really bad Nash. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Trying to remember uh, what exactly did he uh, did he tore. He tell the he tore his a. Uh, MCL and... MCL, ACL, and uh, one other thing. Ah, crap. Pretty much, the, pretty much he, he tore his whole knee. Yeah. Oh, wait, I thought the... I thought MCL... I thought MCL, I thought MCL was men, was the meniscus. Uh, yeah, let me double check real quick. <laughs> oh. Let's see, MCL... And, uh... This. Uh, yeah, it's literally inside the socket. Wait, here's the link again. So let's see. Oh, sorry, I thought he was linking the story that we were. <laughs> no, I'm looking at other stories right now to talk about, and one just made me kind of confused. Oh man, <laughs> it definitely it kind of makes you wonder uh, how Seth Rollins is going to recover after this. Yeah, because it's because I mean it's one of those things where. You know, if it, if it wasn't like if it was enough of an injury to keep him out a couple of months, you know, just to just to basically where he could come back at, huh? I, I know, I know, I know the actual time frame. I'm just saying, like, if it had been one of the, if it had been something where he could have recovered in like you know two like two months or something, this actually would have been a really good WrestleMania storyline, because you know you basically have him, you pretty much have like somebody win the Royal Rumble, you you mm -hmm. have you have a you have the feud start. And then it turns to a tri turns to a triple threat when Seth Rollins walks out the like the night after Fastlane and it just goes, "Hey, bitches, I'm back." There we. Now that's that would have been right that would have like that idea. Yeah, that would have been nice, but we know that what well, we know that with the recovery time, it can't happen. Mm -mm. No, he's getting no. now because pretty much anything having to do with the with that that kind of stuff, 
it always takes a good extended amount of time to to recover from it. Yeah, uh, especially since he unless or, you're John Cena. Well, yeah. <laughs> Though I'm not sure. Uh, did he has he ever suffered a inj knee injury? What what Seth or John? John. Cena. Um, no, I don't think John's ever had a knee injury. He had, I think he's had, he's had a couple of shoulder problems. Uh, yeah, shoulders only... and he tore a pectoral muscle, I know that. And usually those take a while to heal, but, uh, he, he managed to, uh, heal, like, look at his split. <laughs> well, yeah, but so, I think... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so basic, so... And I guess the good thing is that WWE pretty much immediately turned around and already had the idea on how to fix it right then. And it's also something that definitely will possibly bring in some viewers. Maybe like, oh, a tournament. Now this is something I want to watch. But, uh, but of course, uh, you know what, Cole, why don't you take it away, how they're doing this tournament so far? Fuck this tournament! Kind of early to say it, but, uh, oh well. <laughs> I'm sorry! The tournament is bullshit. All right, tell me, tell us why. Because, tell us why, Cole. All right, all right. Uh, I'm not. I can't find like an actual picture of it right now, but for some stupid reason, WWE has decided to shoot themselves in the foot and make. You know how everyone knows how a bracket works. We all know March Madness. There's a there's a upper right, upper upper left, lower right, lower left, yeah. and they all converge in the middle for a final four. The thing is. They've shot themselves in the foot because they could have. They put too many superstars who deserve to go through on the same ends, and they just and they and they put people who have no reason to be in the tournament at the same end. So let me give you an example. Uh, upper right, uh, no upper left. Uh, there are four matches. Mm -hmm. There is. Roman Reigns, uh, well, we're gonna get into Raw, but so I'm just gonna say the match. Yeah, okay. Is, by the way, you said four matches. Actually, if you're going up, if you're going left, if you're going up or lower and stuff like that, it's two. I'm sorry, two, but four people. Yeah. Sorry, but uh, I'm just gonna speak what the Raw matches were. So it was Roman Reigns and Big Show, which fuck you, and okay, then that, there. That, I don't mind that matchup. That kind of makes sense. Then there was Ces <laughs> then there's Cesaro, Sheamus. I like that. One. That... That's not the problem. The All right, problem is the, problem. the match after that, where the fucking winners of those two matches are now facing each other, and Cesaro deserves to be going farther than he's going to be, because Roman needs to look strong. Oh, I see where you're going for here. That's not... No. You don't fucking put... Cesaro against Roman Reigns, so he loses in the Sweet Sixteen in the uh, Elite Eight. Oh man, at least have him in the semifinals. Yes, and that's where I say, all right, now let's look at the uh, lower left. Uh, wait, right? Yeah, lower left. The lower left, from what I remember, is Kalisto and Ryback. Well, that's a random matchup. And Del Rio and someone else. I can't remember who the guy who Del Rio is yeah. facing. WWE World. Why the. F Title tournament. Let's see. All right, and so with that, we know it's going to be uh, Del Rio and Ryback. Okay, I've actually got an actual image of the. All right, tell me who the uh, lower left is. Hold on a second. Uh, do, where's open image and new tab? There it is. Well, oh, cool. I did see the spoilers for uh, SmackDown, and uh, um, <laughs> well, okay. Should I should I reveal them or no? Well, hang on. Let's let's go through the let's go through the bracket real quick. Okay, anyway, yeah, okay, so, okay, so, okay, so, oh, you actually, you actually did have it right, yeah, Rome, yeah, it was Roman Big Show, Cesaro, Sheamus, then Del Rio, Stardust, then Kalisto, Ryback. Okay, here's the thing with that, I'm gonna say this, no one in that bracket fucking matters, or no one in the lower left matters, so why can't you put Cesaro down there? Let him beat, uh, let him beat uh, Kalisto, and then beat whoever the winner of Del Rio Stardust is, which I'm going to assume it's Stardust, because of how Chef was reacting. Uh, so let's, th let, then Cesaro goes on to the Final Four. No one in that lower part matters, because Del Rio is, like, if Del Rio gets to, to the Sweet Eight, uh, to the Elite Eight, that's, and he loses, 
That's fine. He's still U.S. champion. But mm-hmm. no one gives a shit about Ryback. And no one gives a shit about Stardust. Mm-hmm. I can... I mean, this would... I do have to admit it's kind of random, but this is kind of a good opportunity for Kalisto. I mean, if he beats Ryback, which yeah, is if he beats right Ryback, well. and I mean, if he like if he beats Ryback and even just goes to the goes to the round of eight, that would I mean that's a pretty that's a pretty significant thing for him. Although right. that also raises the whole question of wait, why why would you build build up the Lucha Dragons as this big tag team and then then uh, have Kalisto just suddenly shine? Oh wait, that's right because Sin Cara is the other guy. <laughs> Botchkar, I know he's not the same guy, but Botchkar. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Right. Just, uh, so, I, I recently, sorry, I recently watched that episode of WWE List. Right, but uh, out of curiosity, uh, guys, it, I did, I do see some spoilers for SmackDown. Uh, should I just uh, reveal them? I mean, they do say the uh, tournament uh, matchup. Uh, I'm, prob- I'm probably not going to remember to watch it anyway. <laughs> so, all right, Cole, all you right. all right with that? All right, okay. Well, well, here's another matchup that they had in the tournament. Uh, Neville versus King Barrett. Oh, right. Yeah, we hadn't gotten to that side of the bracket yet. That's the other side. We'll talk about that later. Well, they did yeah, reveal well, how about that, we just, how that about we just get How about we just go through that side, then? Okay, all right, okay. All right, so, yeah, ahead. so because because when Raw had Raw had the first match, which was Titus... Yeah, that's a random one, too. Titus O'Neil facing Kevin Owens, and we basically knew exactly what the hell was going to happen there. <laughs> yeah, that's a fine match. I'm fine yeah. with that. Yeah. <laughs> then, then, yeah, Neville and, Ki- Neville and King Barrett. Which yeah, I, I which I see that as once again one of those matches where, you know, somebody's gonna win out of it, but then they're gonna lose probably the next round, and then they're and then the, that's gonna be your SummerSlam match. Mm-hmm. I mean, not SummerSlam, Survivor Series. God. Wow. Wrong guess. Wow, we're, wow, we're both uh, yeah. kind of on the same point here. So okay. Yeah, let's see. Then then the then the fi- the final two matches uh, actually both took place on Raw. Or no wait, did it? No no wait. One did one. I'm not sure about the other one. Say the other one. Uh, let me see. Ziggler Miz. Did that happen on Raw? That happened on Raw. Okay. Then, okay, then both no, these I matches... I have a fucking problem with that match. Yeah, both these matches happened on Raw. So... That, yeah, Ziggler Miz and, uh... And Ambrose, and, uh, Ambrose and Tyler Breeze. Okay. Okay. Wow. Oh, man. All I can say is, wow. Talk about a... Talk about a debut for Tyler Breeze and the main roster right here. They're can just I, burying him. This is not fair, because Dean Ambrose is going through well, yeah, we kind of already know that. But why the fuck would you put him against Tyler? Why wouldn't you put Tyler Breeze against... Uh, actually, you know what? You could have put Tyler Breeze against Miz. And if he... and if Look, I fucking hate Dolph Ziggler at this point. I right. don't care about Dolph Ziggler. He, him beating Miz, I fucking hate it because... I'm sorry. If Dolph Ziggler had faced... Dean Ambrose and Dean Ambrose had beat Dolph Ziggler, and then Tyler Breeze had beat the Miz. I and then Dean Ambrose beat Tyler Breeze. I would have been fine. You know that I I like that. Uh, they're more. Miz, if you're gonna have Miz lose, at least have him lose to someone who's younger. Yeah, that, that kind of passed that. fortunately. Yeah. yeah, and but like, fuck you for saying it's Dolph Ziggler. Y'all like Dolph Ziggler? Yay! I'm like, no. We're tired of them. The only reason why yeah. he, in a way, he kind of has this uh, momentum is because of the, uh, the Long Island's IC, in a way. Just pisses me off, but yeah. So you were going to, I'm sorry, Suki, do you have anything else to say or could Chef well, do spoilers? I was, I was just going to say that really it was unfortunate for, I, I, it, you kind of feel bad for Breeze because they were setting him up. And I think they, I think if the storyline with him and Ziggler had just been, had kept going, he probably would have gotten a match against somebody that, you know, just somebody he could eat, you know, that was like throwaway. He could just beat whoever, and he would have. And his first match probably would have been a victory. Mm-hmm. Wait, actually, why couldn't you have Breeze versus Ziggler in the tournament? No, uh, not not in the first round. Fine, if you have you know, like yeah, that's the whole thing. Those t- like if you have an obvious rivalry going on, you don't put them together in the first round. That's that's pretty much a rule of tournaments. All right, so then you take Ambrose, you shove him into the uh, upper right. You take ne- and you move Neville down, and you make it. Or you take. Let's put. Be- let's uh. You know what? Fuck it. Let's put Neville down here. Then we have Neville versus Ziggler, and then we have Miz versus Breeze. Then we have. Then we have it in the second round. It kind of makes sense. You know, they're both uh, NXT I guys. I know Neville and Barrett are supposed to be like. Uh, they're in England. Do an English fucking thing. I'm like, nah. I'm sorry, Neville. You've had your time. We need to boot Breeze around now. I'm sorry. Hmm. Also, we don't care. Uh, uh, yeah. 
I'm sure there's way better things you could have done, but a way to get Breeze and Ziggler together in the second round, which could have honestly led to Breeze going to the Final Four, which would look really good. Yeah, honestly, I think yeah, I think that's who really comes out on the short end of the stick. This whole thing is definitely Tyler Breeze, because they ha- they had a plan to get ca- to get him go to get him going, get him going on the main roster, and this whole thing really just kind of that kind of put a wrench into that plan. All yeah. Right. Uh, so, so, Chef, why don't you tell us? All right. The matchup between uh, Neville versus uh, King Barrett. Neville won. All right. Okay. And uh, Alberto Del Rio versus Stardust. Alberto Del Rio won. What a shock. Okay. Now here's... Okay, the next one. Kalisto versus Ryback. Kalisto won. What? Really? <laughs> Kalisto won. <laughs> Okay, now I have to see this just to see how the hell he did it. Was it like a quick pin, or was it like legit he did so well to, so, so, uh, Del Sol on him? Uh, it doesn't say. It just says... It doesn't say anything in the description. It just says uh, Kalisto defeated Ryback. I, I sense shenanigans. I don't know Man, why, but I sense like shenanigans. shenanigans, or like... Or, or like, uh, what's his name? Kevin Owens coming out and costing him. Hmm. That's a possibility right there. Yeah, because... That or Kalisto is becoming the new Rey Mysterio, being the next giant killer. Well, I mean, the idea... I mean, one of the ideas behind Kalisto being brought in was that, you know, WWE really wanted wanted to have another, you know, big... Big name Luchador. That was the whole reason Sin Cara was brought in in the first place. I guess, well, I guess I guess Mystico. Right. Yeah. Like that's the reason he was brought in. And of course, unfortunately, that didn't work out the, to their plans. Kalisto is pretty much the next attempt at at having you know a high high ranking Luchador. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, uh, they have El Alberto Del Rio back in. So I guess. we're gonna have a Luchador versus a aristocrat. Hmm, now that's interesting right there. Okay, this might not... Alright, I'm still not the best with this bracket, but that intrigues me. Mm-hmm. Alright, uh... Also, real quick, okay, can I so... bring up this real big quick news I just found that I can't believe is real? Okay, what is it? Okay, so there's a terrorism... There's a terrorist uh, trial going on in England right now. Uh-huh. Uh... And here's the tweet the Court News UK just tweeted. In what mu- it, it, this happened on November fourth, so a day after we f- uh, recorded. In what must be a first, Woolwich Crown Court has been shown a video during a terror trial of WWE r- legend Ric Flair shouting "Woo." What? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> uh, correct spell. Uh, then they misspelled it with R I C K, and they read the next tweet was correct spelling is Ric Flair. Apparently, apologies, fanboys. The alleged jihads used to, used to reference the Nature Boy in their online chats. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh my god! <laughs> they're on uh, they're on trial for planning an attack uh, in the streets of Britain in, in, on something called Remembrance Day, and apparently they just they were really big fans of the Nature Boy and referenced him a ton. Uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just picturing uh, Rick Flair just uh, reading about this or. <laughs> Hell, he might have been part of the chat group. He's just all drunk and wasted. He's like, "Woo!" Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah, but uh, okay. Sorry, just to answer some, a question out of our out of our live chat. Uh, NASCAR King, no, this is not being done King of the Ring style at Survivor Series. Uh, as far as I know, the only match that out of this tournament that's going to be at Survivor Series is the title match. I think the quarter. I think the uh, final four is going to be Survivor Series. You should sure be like. I think I. I'm pretty sure because I think I they're gonna. I because we only have one more raw left. Do we? Wait. We have one we more had, raw left. And I, I doubt they're two. gonna put it on. Smackdown. No, we got SmackDown. Okay, so we got SmackDown, which ends the first round. So then we got. Let's see. So then we got Monday Night Raw, which you could honestly put all four matches on Raw. Which I get. Hmm. Oh wait, no, Cole, you're right. We only have one more raw. Huh, I could have sworn... Huh. We have the Elite... I don't think... It'd be... It, you would make guys wrestle twice in one night, and then I don't think they would put this on SmackDown. So I think they're... 
I, it's a possibility they do it next week. I think that they'd be smarter to yeah. do it, like make them wrestle twice on pay per view. Yeah, yeah because oh. it would. Because oh otherwise, God. Wikipedia yeah. has the spoilers on here. Yeah, because because otherwise it would be yeah. Because I'm thinking it'd be like you know four the four matches, uh, four second round matches would be Raw, and then the and then the semifinals would be SmackDown. The I don't think that'd be smart. Actually, yeah. this is what they have. I mean, the quarterfinals are going to be on the next Raw, and the semifinals are going to be on the next SmackDown. Oh. Yeah, I th- yeah, I guess cause, I don't know. I guess the idea is that they they probably had the card for Survivor Series already planned out to the point that they didn't that they didn't they they looked at it and tried to figure out a way to if they could fit essentially three ma- three matches into the card instead of one in the play for the WB title. And they probably said no and th- thus we went to this. Gosh. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, so whatever. At least we know how it's gonna break down. Uh, uh by the way, Suki. Yeah. He wants to join. Oh, he does. Yeah. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome. Well, hey, I mean, uh, he hasn't been added to... yet. <laughs> well, <laughs> well I, hey, I, I was trying to get a good build up here. Yeah, well, I gotta find him in my list of, of a ton of people first. I got it. I, I'm out of him now. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, please welcome a new member to the uh, OA Wrestling Wrestling Podcast, Reese. Reese. Someone pull the string. He ain't talking. Yep, he's not talking. God <laughs> damn it, Cornette! I, I, oh, I, I I'm trying to pull up a, a return entrance theme. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing it. You're you're doing it right on the recording, buddy. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> I have to build a beast for you. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Okay, maybe I could. Hang on, I wonder if I could pull it up really fast and get to it. Let's see. <laughs> okay, after after the your opinion don't matter line, I have to stop that. All right, there we go. Okay, well, Re- Reese, all I'm gonna say is that your theme should probably actually be this. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 yeah, that, I I agree as well. <laughs> anyway, what, what's the uh, what's the stream link? Oh, it's still OA Wrestling. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just missed our uh, Chikara talk. <laughs> nah, it's a uh, pretty much we pretty much we just discuss we're, we discussed a little bit about you know the, how the Seth Rollins injury and uh, and uh, a little bit about the we talked a little bit about the tournament that's going on. Oh. Did you, did you hear uh, the big news that came out of that? Apparently, John Cena's nose is very happy about the knee injury. <laughs> oh, God. He's right. Yeah. I wonder if it's the same knee. Oh, speaking of Cena, his uh, return uh, match has been announced. Oh, really? Uh, already? Uh, it's, uh, well, yeah. Apparently at the Madison Square Garden event this December, uh, he's going to be, which is not televised, but... I usually go with that, but I'm probably going to go raw. Uh, he's going to be facing Alberto Del Rio uh, for the U.S. Championship. Huh. Alrighty then. Well, they could just be doing that just to get his return match out of the way, because here's the thing: wasn't the, wasn't his taping supposed to go through go through January? That's what I thought too. Honestly, he was already booked for that place. He's already booked for the Garden event uh, to face Sheamus. For the U.S. title, so he was already booked for the uh, Madison Square Garden event. So I think that he's like, you know how Brock Lesnar needed to be at the Madison Square Garden event to sell tickets c- to pay for the costs of being at the Garden. Pretty much. Uh, I think that's what they're doing with Cena. Like, we need Cena for this event. Could you spare a night and just, you know, have a fight with Del Rio? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it I makes it makes sense cool. business wise. Yeah, because MSG. Likes the dollar dollar. Well. 
But uh, let me see. Oh, you know, actually, kind of an interesting. Uh, I forget if I. T- I don't think I talked about it on last week's show because I think it came up on the WB app after last week's show. Here's a kind of an interesting thing, because, because, and I wouldn't. I don't normally put much much into rumors that go around, and Reese might have an opinion on this too. Uh, but apparently, rumors started circulating that once again AJ Styles was apparently in talks with WWE. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. It, let me go ahead and say why I'm even putting anything into this. Because on that same day that I hear these rumors, I turn on the WWE app, and what do I see? A random match from 2002 on Jacked, where AJ Styles was facing uh, the Hurricane. Mm-hmm. And, I, yeah. I, I would not put that much thought into it yeah because the uh i uh i actually just saw the other day a uh, spreadsheet of the top i think i'm gonna say the top 20 most profitable guys outside of wwe aj styles is selling out more arenas than any other person on earth hmm so, for him to give all of that it's up... It's not really to- hard to sell out a uh, high school gym. I think these are uh, bigger than... The no, gyms, yeah, so. yeah. New Japan... New Japan these- is, remember, New Japan is pretty much the WB of Japan. I know, I was fucking with you. And, yeah, in, in a way, and uh, Ring Japan Honor is kind of doing better than TNA these days, too. I, I believe... I believe... Oh, hold on. I, I actually have the picture, if I could actually pull it up. Uh, I think the average attendance for every AJ Styles main event in uh, New Japan was like seven thousand. Wow, that's huge. Which, is, which, which isn't bad at all. But oh, can you? Yeah, I, can, uh, let me ask you: Can you directly tie the sellout seats to AJ Styles, or is he just with a strong roster? He. These were okay. I, I pulled up the picture. AJ Styles main evented 16, uh, 16 events for New Japan, and the average attendance for all of those main events was four thousand. Every time he main evented with a single match where he was just one on one, the average attendance was seven thousand four hundred eighty five. Huh. So, so he is a huge, huge draw wherever he goes, and I doubt he will just throw that away. Maybe if he wants to go to WWE, just like just to try it out, like to the uh, the low-key approach. Uh, okay, Gar- I get that. Gargano. The Gargano Or approach. Gargano, yeah. Which, I, I, if I remember the last I heard, I think Gargano still doesn't have an official deal, but I think Ciampa is about to sign. Ch- Ciampa, uh, Ciampa did announce that he is signed with WWE. I doubt Gargano is going to sign full time because he does have a uh, training camp down here in Cleveland, where he's uh, where he does like the local training for AIW the promotion out here. And unless it's a really good deal, I doubt he's going to leave uh, the promotion just for that. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it was, but you know, it's one of those things where you can look at it like, okay, well, I mean, at least I guess if you think about it, like the pe- for people who don't get to see don't. Uh, k- keep up with the independent circuit as much as much as others. You know, it was good. It was good to actually see what Gargano can do for you know those couple of times in, in NXT. Yeah, and it increases his stock as a performer, and people are more likely to book him. Yeah, uh, and ex- as- unless you're blue pants. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, here's the thing. Uh, Leva Bates's uh, indie bookings got like skyrocketed when uh, when she was on NXT. Yeah, yes. that was the re. She, like, yeah, people, ex- this, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying, but now, but now, after apparently what, apparently the story of what happened at NXT came out. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, no, no, she's still getting bookings. Uh, the thing, I think the, the 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 funny thing about that is she's not really that good of a wrestler, yet she's getting all of this like publicity just because of NXT. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. That's my two cents on that. Sorry, I wasn't like raging. Like, oh god, how could AJ Styles go to 
No, uh, it's that, no, because like I, it's like I said, I just brought it up because I found it, I found it interesting. Just the top, it, that was just way too coincidental that timing. <laughs> I, I don't think it was coincidental. I, I, I think WWE is trying to fuel those rumors. Yeah, Th- that's what I honestly believe. Yeah, because uh, I mean, I can see, yeah. I can see why because a- AJ Styles would be one of those guys that I can see Triple H from its looking at and going, okay. Go to NXT for like a couple of months. You're gonna pull. You're gonna pull uh, basically a Kevin Owens, and you're gonna be on the main roster not too long. Yeah. Even then, even then, I thought AJ would make the main roster. Not because, not because he, he he he's not good enough. I just believe he. I think he's just down there to NXT, just like to like put on matches. Like yeah, you know, I get like I mean, there's that. I I could see. I guess if a. I guess if AJ's like in his, I guess you could say AJ knows that he's only gonna do be like full time active for like maybe another year or so. I could see him maybe doing a move to NXT just to sort of just to sort of you know get a, I guess get a glory run down there. I I, I doubt I doubt AJ is going to retire within the next four years. I think he this is the height of his career, so yeah. I think he's riding out for four more years. Yeah, I, that's just me. Uh, but uh. <laughs> Uh, also, hey. NASCAR, in, in, in your response, I have gone soft because WrestleMania 31 just, was just so infuriating to me. I think I've just, I've just relaxed as a person. Yeah, he, did some, uh, he did some yoga. I, I did your grandma's yoga. I, yep. I, that, I actually rem- that actually reminds me, when I get the money, I, need, I, need to go, I want to go ahead and order uh, DDP yoga. I did okay, too. First of all, You're actually I, doing I, it? I, uh, I need to warn you, it's going to kick your ass. Even oh, at oh, the low set. Oh, you, oh, you've done it, Reese. I, I've done a little bit of it, and uh, it's a uh, it, it, it's a great program, but it's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> I I think that's kind of the point. What DDP was looking for, he's looking for yeah. something that you know relaxes you and you know stretches the muscles and everything, but it also gives you a good workout. It's a workout yoga. Yeah. It, it's more it's more workout than yoga. Ah. Let's, okay. Uh, uh, let's by the way, real quick, uh, mm-hmm. just real quick. I forgot last night's RAW was recorded. I thought it was live. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I just saw this uh, this uh, news thing where it's and honestly, it doesn't make sense to me because it says WWE made several big edits to last night's RAW broadcast. Uh, how? In the begin the beginning promo with Triple H and Roman Reigns, how when Roman Reigns made his you know big spiel and the crowd booed him, they made it sound like he- they were cheering him. Huh. I heard boos. Well, so they did shitty edits. Well, I heard mostly boos. Well, it's the United Kingdom. So that could- I was like literally saying, what do you mean they taped Raw? They didn't tape Raw. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, they were in England. Yeah. Maybe, maybe maybe they left the booze on purpose to to foreshadow something. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah. And I'll I'll say this, to be perfectly honest, I know Roman's like basically the like I guess the Cena style face where he's like, "Yeah, hey, I'll yeah, I I earn everything that I get all that. I'll fight I'll fight anybody." But uh am I the only one that thinks that Roman really should have just t- Taken the offer because it only made sense. Yes, he already had number one contendership. Hmm. It made logical se- him going, "Bah, you're gonna give me everything I've already earned. That's not happening. I'm gonna do it myself." I'm like, "You're a fucking idiot." Hmm. It's like, yeah. I mean, I get it. I get it. You know, the whole thing. Triple H. Triple H is saying, "You just have to. You just have to be my man." It's like, um, here's here's how you pull that, Roman. You, you you basically just go like okay sure and then after you win the title you go fuck you Triple H bam he could do that that's all you have da, to do da, da, da. <laughs> that's like liter- that's literally it you base you you pretty much join the bad you join the bad people like only j- j- like for basically three weeks and then once you, once you've used them you get rid of them you pull the what the Dudley Boys did to write the censor. I actually don't that, remember that. That is that. such an old ass question. You fucking know it, though. Such... When do you not remember that, Suki? Oh, I don't. It's remember, right, the attitude so error is kind of fuzzy boys, for me. The Dudley boys 
and right to censor had a feud, and then right to censor kicked their ass, and they go, "You gonna join us?" And they go, "Yes, please. We will not break." And they like, and then uh, Devon actually did his like testify thing, like testify. I will not break any more tables. And then they come out on like Raw, and they start like just testifying how we won't do this, we won't do that. And then they say, and then like, and then I think he goes, "Brother Devon." Get the tables and starts like beating up Val Venus. And I think they put Ivory in through a table. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, also, I just want to speak. Uh, Yomi, WWE will never be as bad as TNA right now, and I refuse to believe TNA is actually a wrestling company. So I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. You know what? Really? Yeah, you know what? Since we're since we brought up TNA, since I guess TNA got itself brought up, but uh, I. Uh, I'll say this: I haven't watched an Impact in a while, and the last one I watched, I didn't even finish. <laughs> but um, because here's the thing that sucks about TNA: every now and then, t- I mean, t- TNA has people in there that have good ideas. Like I will say this: the their tight their world title tournament, a really good idea. Basically, model it after the World Cup. The best thing in the world. And I, I and I do uh, I do like the fact that they would have, that they made the decision to go ahead and include a group of who include one of the brackets to be all women. That was interesting, right there. How'd that turn out? I actually don't know. It's uh, it didn't, it didn't, I I don't I stopped caring about TNA, but I ha- I keep hearing about it. Did not turn out well. Mm. How'd it turn I, out? I, I I don't know. But all I know it's it didn't turn out well, and since it's TNA, I believe it. Yeah, well, but uh, I, I think I'm on the same boat with you, Reese. I, you you heard you heard my rants, uh, the night of Bound for Glory, right? So I believe we, it. Oh yeah, you're talking about what happened with Matt with Matt Hardy. Oh my God! Oh fuck that! <laughs> I think we're we're all in the same agreement on there. It, did you guys talk about it that much on this show? I don't think I, so. I, I believe we did, No, no, yes. I, I remember I had to fight to bring it up because, like, can we just talk about how bad Hardy fucking won the title and then gave it up? I think I remember, I think AJ had a big rant on it, too. I think I, no, I don't know if AJ even cared because, like, oh, it's TNA, what do you expect? Which I said, why the fuck is TNA giving people titles and then taking them away a day later? Yeah, First yeah. it was Gabriel, now it's this shit. The, the, the amazing lack of foresight TNA has when it comes to their champions is absolutely breathtaking. Number one, they probably knew Matt Hardy could not travel overseas due to the amount of drugs that have been injected to him. Number one. Number two. Number two. The, the only reason they gave him the goddamn belt was because it was held in North Carolina. It had Balfour Gory not been in North Carolina, they would have done shit. Number three, he was fucking shoehorned into that match so goddamn hard. Like, you had the setup of Drew Galloway and EC3, which would have been a fine-ass match. Really good. But yeah, it would have been really good, especially with the build-up. But they had to fucking shoehorn Matt Hardy into the goddamn main event for name value. That's the only fucking reason he was even shoehorned into the match. And they gave him it's the title. Than, I'm sorry, time out. It's better than Jeff Hardy's alter ego. Oh, Willow? Oh, no, I, I'd rather, I beg for Willow at this point. Shoot me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but the worst part of it all is, what was the in-story reason for them vacating the belt? Oh what? Well, oh the story. Oh how did how did they vacate it? Yeah. EC okay. EC three filed an injunction, and and pretty much said said I'm going I'm going to hold basically hold the company hostage while until until this is made right because yeah, because I guess because it was you know Jeff Hardy was the guest referee and all that so it was like you know impar- it, pretty much it wasn't a fair match or whatever. Which. And, the it, fact that the Hardy Boys did not take that in consideration, like, oh god, we we di- we didn't realize that would have happened. Yeah, that's fucking. St- and the yeah. the thing is, actually, the, Reese, I can believe yeah. the Hardy Boys are that stupid. <laughs> okay, fair point, fair point. But the, the the hysterical thing is, they take those those shows after Bound for Glory, 
months before Bound for Glory aired. So they knew this was going to happen. Yep. They, it's, it's incredible how awful that company has become. And when, when we were, when I was on the show back in like months, back before we did the podcast form, you would hear me saying, oh, but TNA has this, TNA has that. TNA has Jack Diddley shit. Pretty much. They, ha- they have spurned me as a fan. I will lay on hate for TNA for for all the world to hear. Yeah, you know right. what? That, yeah, that's Reese, uh, yeah. I will uh, say one with second, see, go ahead. okay. I was gonna say yeah because honestly, what I've seen recently out of TNA, I, that made me even happier to see James Storm pop up in NXT. Oh my god! Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I I don't give a shit about James Storm. I don't give a shit about James Storm coming to NXT. I just want him anywhere outside of TNA because even as a guy who is indifferent to him, he deserves better. Wait. Uh, Reese, I'm going to say something real quick. I own TNA Impact for the Xbox 360. Oh, God. On the cover of that is Sting, Samoa Joe, and Kurt Angle. <laughs> now, I guys want who are in to TNA think, right now, but who knows I, what I Kurt Angle to, is going to do. I want you to think about that. Three guys who, um, who were never going to go either back to or to WWE, and Samoa Joe went... Sting went. Kurt Angle, I don't know what the fuck he's doing right now. Probably just like nursing a neck. I think he's trying to push for his last uh, run to be in WWE. Oh no, so, did you guys hear? What? He said what was it? What? Oh, I'm sorry, Reese, we couldn't hear you there. He signed with Bellator MMA. <gasps> what? Wait, and is that. Ken, Ken, come on, come on. Ken Shamrock. Yeah, I'm gonna bring up Ken Shamrock. Recently announced that he's gonna have another fight at the age of 51. Uh, against um Gracie. Okay, I thought for a second it was gonna be Kurt Angle. I was about to shit myself. No, Gracie oh, and boy. Shamrock are both coming, basically coming out of retirement for this. Sweet, oh, I get wow. to see the Godfather of MMA again on Spike. Wow. Who was who? But but the thing is, uh, with Kurt Angle and Bellator, you got who was the, that street fighter that wasn't in, in Ultimate Fighter? Oh, uh, the Kimbo Slice. No. Yeah, you oh. could possibly see that match. <laughs> oh man. Uh, oh, holy balls. But yeah, but um, because yeah, I'll because I'll admit I think yeah I'll, I'll definitely say that when you know, one last note on TNA because because for that last time that I watched when when your company now has characters like freaking what is his name Grado. Yeah, I'm done. Don't 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 shit on Grado, man. Grado is amazing. I don't know. I I, I I don't. Maybe I don't see it. The other people see it, but eh. He is the most over wrestler in the United Kingdom, and I'm not even joking or hyperbolizing. Really? You you don't you know why? Okay, there's if you, if you're interested in this, there's a YouTube documentary that Vice did called The British Wrestler, and it's basically about Grado and the cult-like status he has achieved in England. Huh. It, it's gotten to the point where everyone in the arena will sing his theme song. And his theme song is Like a Prayer by Madonna. <laughs> wow. So you, get, you have an entire crowd of like 500 drunk Scottish men just singing... When you call my name, like a little prayer, I'm down on my knees, I want to <laughs> take you there. And it's fucking amazing. Oh, for God's sakes. I need to see this. Oh, uh, great. Because, I, okay, maybe, yeah, maybe I do need to see this, because honestly, what I saw of them, I wasn't that, Im- I really wasn't that impressed. But then again, maybe that's just because TNA's sucking the talent out of him. <laughs> he was... He he's he uh he actually came here to Cleveland for AIW earlier this year and the crowd sang along and I'm like what the fuck is going on and he the thing about Grado is that he he's ostensibly a comedy wrestler you do not expect great matches out of him but he's so lovable. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, Wait, time out one second. Lemon, what the fuck do you mean Eugene's coming back to WWE? Wait, what? <laughs> I what? heard I heard rumors. I think Nick D- Densmore. Eugene is coming back as like a trainer role, maybe. Well, okay. Uh, oh, Nick that's Dismore, fine. Nick Dismore, I know he's a great trainer. I know that. That's fine. And that kind of makes sense, especially with uh, Bill DeMonte gone now and Albert being pretty much the hub trainer. I mean, I could easily see Nick Dismore be like somewhere around that 
league. Yeah. And uh, I, I forgot to ask, but the documentary was called The British Wrestler. Hmm. The British the Wrestler? British, Br- British the- Wrestler, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I, I, th- I thought I thought you were like I thought you were you were intentionally uh, said it like that. The British Welshler. Oh, Welshler. Oh. Okay. Oh, Welshler. Oh, I see. No, no, it, it, it's wrestler, but I just made the pun Welsh. I need water. <laughs> uh, but, um, also, uh, really quick, uh, I want to bring this up because I actually brought up Samoa Joe. I kind of liked when CM Punk pokes fun of his indie buddies. Because uh, Samoa Joe recently tweeted out on Twitter, the road begins here, hashtag WrestleMania, because NXT was at uh, the Cowboys arena. Fuck Jerry Jones. Uh, just doing his, doing the whole NXT like ticket sale thing. And CM Punk tweeted at him, uh, at Samoa Joe, make sure to point the sign. They really like that. <laughs> I, I don't know what... Oh, God. I think one of my... One of the, I think one of my favorite exchanges between them I saw was... Was uh, CM Punk saying, "I hey, saying like I don't I like hey, any of you dum dums want to, or it, I, I've or wait like anybody want to say anything? I'll block any of you dum dums." Mm. And then Samoa Joe tweeted back at him with a picture of dum dums the suckers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. God damn it! I think he, I think he even put in put in text. I think he said, "What now?" <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Punk retweeted and favorited it. Nice. I wouldn't be surprised. Fuck, I, CM Punk's the best. Yeah. So oh yeah. You I, know what? If we're I gonna can't talk wait for his debut yeah. in UFC. Yeah. You know what? When he if, dies. If we're, if we're gonna mention if we're gonna mention some old Joe here, I want to I want to go ahead and mention uh it, let's talk about NXT and right, the and the title match and the title match that apparently didn't need to happen. All right. I, uh-huh. I'll admit this is this was kind of a this was a misstep because here's the thing. Booking wise, Apollo Cruz and Finn Balor sound, is on paper is a great match. Right. And honestly, they were putting on a good match. Yeah. But that, but like I guess because we all knew there was no way Finn Balor was losing the title right now. They yeah. had to come up they had to do something different, so that's why Baron Corbin ran into the ring and punched Cruz and caused the DQ. Which made sense because you could you could just say, oh, now they have a Cruz uh, Baron Corbin feud because that's what because he cost him the title. Yeah. Title shot. But then, yeah, the the good thing that came out of that was Samoa Joe getting into the ring, chasing Corbin off from Balor, which then resulted in which then re- resulted in Samoa Joe beating the shit out of Balor. I didn't like it. I I just like it because I like I like Joe as a heel. No, it's not that I don't like Joe as a heel. I think it could have been done better because it, for me. As a, for me, and maybe I'm thinking of it too logistically. Samoa Joe turning heel then, first off, it, it, it kind of reminds me way too much of the Sami Zayn uh, Kevin Owens one, and having two of those in the same year kind of is weird to me. Uh, but also Samoa Joe showed no inklings of you know not liking Finn Balor. Right? Finn Balor even said, I'd fight you. I'll fight you. Yeah, I, you, you're, I want to fight you. And William Regal was the one who said, no, we're having a, a fatal four-way or a, a battle royal or whatever. Yeah, I think the Tyler Breeze... So I, th- I don't see I, why... Yeah. I think in Joe general, Joe, I think the Tyler Breeze sorry. thing just sort of sparked something in Joe. Maybe. It's just like, I don't see like... And honestly, like, if Joe was smart, he could have well, stayed buddy-buddy with him and actually, then turned on him like at a better time. Actually, here's. I here's, don't think this was a. Uh, actually, here's another way to look. Here's another way to look at it. Samoa Joe, when basically he was being when he was being friends with Finn Balor, and p- pretty much got Finn Balor to to say that he that you yeah you can have the title shot. He gets that taken away from him. So now. So essentially, he in his mind it's now okay. How do I make sure <coughs> I keep the I I get a title shot and it stays. How about how about how about make sure that how about make sure that the champion really wants to fight me? Not bad. Yeah. yeah. Suppose Joe could always make his faction seeing his. Oh God. The TNA yeah. holds that seems to have a nice ring. T- what? I'm sorry. What happened? <laughs> sorry, it's Lemon in the chat. It's like suppose Joe could always make his new f- faction seeing as he has James Storm. The TNA hole seems to have a nice ring to it. Oh, oh my god. 
Oh my god. We escape we escape from hell to come find find some uh, solitude. And then when they're asked, like, what does T and A hole mean? They go, uh, it, it's a reference to Test and Albert. <laughs> oh Jesus. But uh, so they yeah so oh. yeah, so that that happened and um and I guess we're gonna have to, let me see I think I talked a little bit about it in our in our actual Skype group about it but um yeah I I want to talk about the evolution of Nia Jax as as it stands right now. Um, I honestly don't remember her match. Yeah, and the thing that sticks out of me on, on her is, and I understand that maybe this is what she's supposed to be going for, but she is incredibly slow. Mm -hmm. Like, to like to the point that it bothers me. It's boring. Like I, like, I understand being a slow, methodical wrestler. That we see that all the time. And it and would guys, you say we got that with Corbin? Corbin, kind of. He's a little bit more. He's, I, I guess. Yeah, I guess you could say Corbin really, because because his his whole offense is based around pretty much pick his moment and and hit really hard at that moment. Mm hmm. And I think that's the same thing that's supposed to be going on with Nia Jax. The problem is, is that it seems like it takes a really long time to go between those moments with her. So I and I, so really I think they need they. I'm not sure if it's she, I'm not sure if it's. Uh, I, honestly, like women says, Nia Jax is kind of more Big Show slow, and I'm like, mm, mm, I don't I'm know. Big sure Show. Here's the problem: Big Show is actually pretty quick for 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 a guy his size. Big Show started out pretty fast. Yeah. He used to fucking do a drop kick. Well, that was, was back awesome. Oh, yeah, and that's probably gotta hurt. Well, I mean, because if you th think about it, the size of Big Show, when he lays out to do the drop kick, he's basically his his body is pretty much half the ring length, pretty much. Basically. <laughs> oh man, and this is a guy being leg dropped by Sabu and what well, the chair. So. <laughs> also, let's not forget Jimmy Snuka wasn't the most athletic person, or wasn't the big like wasn't the most fit person, but he fucking jumped off the top of a cage. Oh yeah, I guess. Well, that's basically letting gravity do what it does. Mm-hmm. Fair Just enough. Just like falling off of a cage. Mm hmm But, I, I don't know, it's just like, if, if you looked like in the late 70s and early 80s, yeah, Snooker could fucking go. But it was only like around 85 or something that he started really to slow down. And if, if you look at his ECW stuff, the guy is slow as shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, I mean, he, let's see, and then, um, let me think here, so, I guess let me think here, so with, uh, I'm trying to think, I could have sworn there was something else out of NXT I wanted to talk oh, about. Oh my fucking god, I love that picture, Lemon. Or it, NASCAR, it was NASCAR. I guess, well, I guess, I gotta see this, I guess. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> Suki, you're the only NASCAR fan here, is that true? Pro probably. <laughs> Delivering more turns than NASCAR since 1999. <laughs> nice. I I'm saving that one. Yeah, that's going in. <laughs> okay, but um, let me think here. Oh, uh, uh, what else? What oh. else is there? What else is there was from from NXT? There was uh, let's see. I think it's because coming oh. up coming up this week is tag is is it this week's tag titles? I'm not sure. We, no, the tag the tag team championships is this week. I think. I I couldn't watch the last episode because my Hulu subscription just expired. But that sounds right. Yeah. Honestly, uh, I can give you a link to a person who plays uh, NXT on stream live. Yeah. And that, uh, not, I may I may take you up on that offer. Uh, right. The only thing though is that uh, apparently, from what I heard, this tag team championship match is really fucking good. So you should watch it live. I know Suki can't. Everyone should watch it live. What? Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I, th I thought you were talking about uh, Survivor Series for some reason. No. <laughs> but, um, let's see, so... Oh, yeah. and real quick, uh, Big Show got injured at a WWE Live event last night. Really? Oh, no, well, tonight. 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 Yeah, I, I saw that too, and I was like, well, they're not really using Big Show uh, yeah. a lot, and he said he's kind of 
he's kind of wants to be more a part timer right now. So. And oh, trans- oh yeah, that's transitioning too. Okay, yeah, thank you, Tails. That's the other. That's another thing that's supposed to happen this week, because Jordan and Gable called out the Ascension. Oh yeah, Gable, 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 Gable. <laughs> Gable. Yeah. So we're gonna have that. Um, I get. I think it's yeah. So I, th- I think the week. I think it's the week after this. I guess we're gonna get the. Um, I think it's when we're gonna get the uh, women's title match. Between Bailey and uh, Alexa, mm-hmm. yeah, and then after that, yeah, then after that point, it's it's going to be built to London. Right, I think I remember that. Too. So, uh, anything else uh, to talk about? Oh, uh, let's. Uh, oh, sorry, God. Oh no, I, I, I that's it's only bullshit indie stuff that you probably want. Not many would care. I mean, honestly, I want to. I want to keep track of the indie stuff, uh, like myself, and see if anything actually, like, if anything no. comes up out of it that might be interesting to talk about. Because I mean, that's that's always there, there is there is one thing I did. That, well, there's uh, a few things. One, Michael Elgin's contract with Ring of Honor is up, so he's a free agent right now. Oh, so if he if that means he could sign with uh, anyone, and. Uh, <laughs> The funny thing is, New Japan is really stressing to get him uh, because he was at uh, this past year's G1 Climax and the Japanese crowd fell in love with him, basically. And so they're having him tag with uh, the company Ace Tanahashi with their uh, tag tournament, saying, yeah, we, we put you in the same ring as our Ace because we want you. But also, it also hears that uh, WWE really wants... Elgin, they want because they want to strengthen NXT with another big indie name talent. So it's basically a battle between New Japan and WWE to get Michael Elgin. Hmm. Uh, and outside of that, Ring of Honor sucks. So there's that. Oh really? Their their, oh. their TV show just sucks. Oh. I just realized there's a issue, there's a giant issue with the W championship tournament. What's what? that? There's no Curtis Axel. <laughs> Am I the only person who thinks that Curtis Axel will will one day grow up into Virgil? I, you know what? Oh That's God! That's not that far <laughs> of a possibility. Oh, speaking of Virgil, uh, does anyone watch the 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 night the nightly show with Larry Wilmore? Yeah, you know, I think I remember hearing something about uh, Virgil recently, but uh... yeah, he was on there last night talking about racism and wrestling. Oh, you fucking wrestled during the Hulk Hogan era. I'm not surprised there was racism. Fucking oh, um, like what's his name? Uh, Varuk or I can't remember his real name. Holy shit! Ron I, I can't. Oh, yeah, Farouk. Oh, yeah. Had a you, fucking you... Title in WWE. That was okay. WCW. No, because he he won, was he was a champion in WCW, but he couldn't win anything in WWE. He won the tag titles and the European title. I mean, like a major one. Right. Oh, I think he, I think he did win the IC title. Really? Maybe. I do also remember. Like, have we? I'm gonna be totally honest here. Has WWE had a black WWE champion? Yes. Rock. That, yeah. Full black. black. Nope. Uh, Rock is like milk chocolate. Well, he's half. He's half black. So he, he, he's, he's like. Been, he oh yeah, book. Well, yeah. Did Booker T ever hold the WWE title, or was it just the no, world champion? No, just the world heavyweight. He didn't beat Triple H for it when he should have. Yeah. Uh, no, even that world heavyweight championship. Oh yeah. <laughs> so there has never been a real WWE champion that's been totally black. Mm-hmm. Well, well, I don't know about like uh, you know saying like hundred, like saying a pure hundred percent, but uh, you know. But I I the only reason I don't count Rock is because he's also Samoan. Well, yeah, he's half Samoan and half uh, African American, but still. There's, there has been Hispanic noted we champions. Yeah. Yes, Rey Mysterio held it for a day. I know. And Alberto Del Rio too. Oh, yeah. Pedro Morales. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he did too. He held it for like three years. Uh, I think there was, I think there was like on a technicality, Antonio Inoki won the title once, but it was it was like brushed under the rug. Is it a house show? 
Yeah. Hmm. Let me see here. Trying to... Ah, damn. There's someone else I'm trying to think on top of my mind who who won the uh, WWE Championship. I can think of a lot of uh, World Heavyweight Champions, but not WWE Champion, except for The Rock. I, I mean, I know there is no full black WWE Champion. I'm just thinking of other minorities. That's, right. that's sad. Yeah. In fact, I, I don't even crawl that there's any Asian uh, WWE Champion. Well, aside from Antonio Noki, but that was just on a technicality. Well, right, right, right. Asterisk. Right. You know, uh, Kung Fu Naki. Kung Fu Naki only won the Cruiserweight Championship. He's a, if I he's a WWE Champion in my heart. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, jeez. That reminds me, I gotta watch that Mishinoku Pro DVD I got. Thank you, Cole. Oh. What? The, the Mishinoku, uh, Mishinoku Pro DVD that I had, the main event was Mishinoku Pro versus Kayentai DX. So, oh. no, it, no, that wasn't the main event. It was the semi main event. My bad. Wait, wait a minute. Hang on. So, are we sure this is? Hmm. Let me, let me make sure of something. It was established to be split its roster two franchises. WWE's original world title, WWE Championship, then known as Undisputed WWE Championship, so then could find oh, uh, com combination of WWE and WCW Unified by Christian, was designated as a SmackDown brand, which were... Okay, whatever. Uh, guys? Yeah. What? I think I have a reason to buy 2K16. What is it? It turns out, if you go to the main menu and you go to, like, you know, select your game mode, like, if you try and pick what kind of match you want, on the Royal Rumble, it's got Curtis Axel's face on it. Oh, jeez. I'm buying that game for that reason only. Well, there's but, your Christmas present for but, this year, Cole. Wait, wait, you weren't going to buy it because it had Shane O'Mac? I was going, look, I'm, look, a guy offered me a free Xbox game, and I honest, and I, I took Phantom Pain, so, like, I've been, I'm going to get 2K16 at some point, but it's just been on, I, it's been on back burner. All right. Uh, what, what have you been looking up, Suki? Uh, I was looking up uh, lists. I was, I was looking up lists of uh, of WB World World Heavyweight Champions, and on the list, I gotta confirm which one they're talking about here, because King Booker was listed. Yeah, what? King Booker. He he won the title from Rey Mysterio in two thousand six. Okay, there we go. Champ the King Book. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's that's world the only time I recall. World I heavyweight. Ch okay, so he okay, so technically he held the world heavyweight champion. Yeah, and of course. And so did Mark five. Henry. Okay, so I see what they're talking about. This damn it. So this list is this list is kind of BS because it it combines it because it, 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 it involves the uh, oh it involves the brand it involves the brand split. So uh. so it's all so pretty much I can't really <laughs> go buy any of this because it doesn't specify which side. God, I right. missed the brand split. I got it. <laughs> Hell, if you want to make it more confusing, you could you could have it. Add Bobby Lashley and Ezekiel Jackson on our four winning the ECW championship. Which I still count as a world championship. Jack Swagger held two world championships then. Well, there That's we go. sad. Fuck you. <laughs> he's, gonna have, he's gonna have a feud with Alberto Del Rio again. It's gonna be great. In your dreams, Cole. In your Fuck dreams. you all. <laughs> Except I'm I'm gonna have an issue where I'm gonna have to choose between Seth Coulter or Jack Swagger. Oh, did you guys hear? Apparently, because Alberto Del Rio is now with WWE, he cannot defend the AAA Heavyweight Championship. I heard about that, too. Which makes me hate the guy even more. What? Don't hate Del Rio. Motherfucker uh, left. He, he basically left AAA for dead. Yeah, I mean, Kim. at least have, like, just a simple squash match or something. Listen, he... he <laughs> If you're going to fucking leave for another company, at least drop the goddamn world championship before you get on your way out. He, you can even talk he, to a he comes to WWE, he brings the AAA title, and he goes, I'm bringing this to Mex America. Yeah. Let's see. You, oh. you know what he should have done? <laughs> you know what he should have done? He should have just tossed the AAA, uh, the AAA title in a garbage can on air. Oh. No, I got, I got, no, 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 I got one better, Reese. He puts it on the ring. He gets. He puts it on the entrance ramp, and Zeb Coulter runs it over. Yeah, that's what he should have done. That's honestly what he should have done, because he's that big of a piece of shit. Yeah. By, by the way, I'm looking through the list of like WWE champions now. 
And I love it. I got to the point in which the, the whole CM Punk winning at Money in the Bank and then coming back the next night thing what happened. <laughs> or coming or maybe like the next week or whatever it was. But uh <laughs> cuz it shows CM Punk, then it shows Rey Mysterio and CM Punk. And it shows yeah, yeah, and, and it says John Cena and CM Punk. I fucking in that. quotation marks, oh. mind you. So it's just. <laughs> By the way, Punk's getting Ben Wad really badly now that he's not even counted in the Undertaker streak. Uh, well, pretty much. Uh, I mean, I obviously Triple H and Vince are obviously still butt hurts with Punk and everything. But Re- anyway. you know, we can add him. I'm pretty sure CM Punk. You know, with this kind of treatment, we, we're gonna find him on a certain beach sooner or later. Oh, that's <laughs> <In> Chicago. <laughs> Basically, uh, uh, I feel uncomfortable around him. All right. Well, I think we're getting. <laughs> I think we're pretty much uh, getting to getting to to the point where we're kind of stretching for stuff to discuss. Because yeah, yeah, we didn't really go that in depth into Raw and and all that this week, but really, the... it was mostly the. Tw- oh, you know what? We should talk about one thing about Raw. What's the that? Divas match. Oh yeah, the uh, oh yeah, Becky Paige. Lynch. Yeah, yeah. She had a good match. She really did. And uh, and she used her steampunk theme with the smoke. No, she didn't. She didn't use the smoke. I thought she had smoke. No, she no. I saw no. Her Minitron has like a steampunk thing to it now. Oh, it's slowly evolving into it. <laughs> She's actually also she got her first like singles win, which is nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh God! Why didn't we talk about that? Oh what? what? Talk about the Wyatt segment. Oh right, you're right. I forgot about that. I just remembered the tour. I forgot about that. Honestly, whoops. Yeah, because oh my God, because basically, I'll admit the storyline kind of turned around a little bit quicker than I anticipated, but still, I mean, two weeks ago, Bray Wyatt and the Br- Wyatt family pretty much, pretty much kidnapped the Undertaker and Kane. The next, the next week, Wyatt claims he has all the powers and has the powers. It's, it's so awesome that I just uh, yeah. see, you would love this. So then, so then this week, Bray Wyatt comes out and pretty much, and he do, he's doing like a eulogy for the Undertaker and Kane. And I have to admit, it's kind even for like how silly these things can get. This was pretty silly. Like Bray Wyatt gets down to do gets down on his knees and does the whole follow the buzzards thing, and then the Titan Tron pretty much does the does like a little does basically the reverse of the uh, swirling thing from the video package that Bray Wyatt played before, <laughs> where now instead of instead of the souls of the Undertaker and Kane being sucked into Bray Wyatt, it's like it's going back, and it plays a plays a video package and then Undertaker and Kane come out. And pretty, and now, and Undertaker and Kane look once again like the dominant forces that they once were. Like this, I'm actually very interested to know what the hell they're doing with this, which it's probably going to end up in being a, um, yeah, it's going to be a Survivor Series match. Yeah, yeah but who's going to win it? Here's the other yeah. question: Who the hell's going to? Who the hell are they going to put with Undertaker and Kane? Okay, yeah, that's, that's a good uh, question. Though, Grant, I have heard that there. I heard Finn Balor is kind of hinting that he might be there, but uh, who would the? Is it going to be a four four on four? Or is it going to be five five on five? If it's five on five, I expect Bo Dallas to embrace his roots. Hmm. Okay, oh. let's think. Let's think here. Who's super dead in WWE? Uh. Sango. Okay, well, he doesn't have legs. K- Kamala? Oh, wait, I got black guys mixed up. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. What? Is it over? This is better. <laughs> but up, up, but up, up. That's our goal. No, but let's just think. Who could be on Undertaker Kane? Uh, Demon Finn Balor is an easy choice. Uh, this is going to be a stretch, but Kane and Big Show have history. Except, so maybe K- except Big, Big Show's Show. injured now. Oh, great. Right. I just yeah. forgot about that. All right. oh, that would have been nice, but uh, Hurri- uh Hurricane. <laughs> okay. Daniel Bryan. Oh, Daniel Bryan. Maybe if he's if he's ready. If he's cleared, then maybe yeah. And he does have history with the Wyatts. 
and Undertaker and Kane because like he did stuff with them, of course. Right. And and so and Dean like, Ambrose is a is a is a possibility too. Oh well, no, because he's gonna be he's gonna be in the Fatal Four. He's gonna be in the tournament most likely. Yeah, but it's it's just uh. Okay, we don't know if he's gonna face uh, Roman. That's a good question right there. So let's think. Like, if it's it's all right. So we have at least three people for the for Undertaker, Kane, four maybe. So what could the fifth person be? Uh, our truth. <laughs> it could be. Uh, <laughs> Can we get Christian awkwardly oh. rapping again? Hmm. Well, I don't know if they'll clear him, but, uh... Now they, they get hard swoggle. Uh, the boogeyman! He's Yo, a oh, legend now. That's, that's, yeah, I heard about that. I almost forgot about that. Uh, yeah, they signed Boogeyman to be a legend now. He has a Legends contract. First Tatanka last week, and now Boogeyman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a, a pre, I think for Boogeyman we need to put we need to we need to change the name of that contract to Legend. And if you couldn't see, and I'm sorry you couldn't see it, but I did air quotes. <laughs> well, people do love Boogie, and granted, he does have a little bit of a complication with Bray Wyatt. <laughs> I'm the Boogeyman, and I'm fifty. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's fifty. Yeah. it's kind yeah, of funny, he's but cause I mean, because I mean the like the main the, like the main thing that I that I know Boogeyman's done recently was he just got fucked with with it on Swerve. Oh God, I remember that. Like he's they a, they convinced I, him to get in full in full makeup and everything, and then and then just screwed with him and didn't made it made him come in for a fake promo. <laughs> I, I did. I bet he had a good time. Oh, he's actually 51. Hmm. Still, he's in his early 50s and so great for his age. Oh, just imagine Bray Wyatt's like, Now I'm gonna get your power! Do you want that power? I want to get yeah. protein from the worms! That's the source oh. of his power! And you know what? Uh, well, I guess they could do well, that, Lemon, because... You know, sorry, yeah, it's just that Lemon brought up the obvious sting option. That is possible, but... He's... We still, don't know, we still don't know uh, how uh, Sting is right now. I'm pretty granted, sure he's still concussed. Yeah, but is that, really, is that even a word? I would. I think it is. All right. Well, granted, WWE lately, he, they are really good at keeping secrets these days. I mean, we've been wrong on two uh, mystery partners uh, in the past few pay-per-views. We didn't expect Chris Jericho. We did not expect Alberto Del Rio. So... WWE is probably keeping secrets much better these days, so... Bring who knows? Hogan. Bring in Hogan, the only man to bury more people than the actual Undertaker. Oh. <laughs> and then he breaks it back. <laughs> oh, God, I just realized someone we can get for Team Undertaker. Who? Uh, Fred Durst. <laughs> From Limp Biscuit. <laughs> Yes. Oh okay. God. I think that's. I think that's where. Uh, that's where we end the show. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think. I think we're officially going more into the into the realm of stupid than we need to. <laughs> we're all stupid here. <laughs> yep. All right. All well. Right, then. All right. Well. Anyway. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna say thank you all for coming coming out tonight. And before we get going, of course, we gotta gotta let everybody know how where and how to follow us and you know, see the things that we do on a weekly basis. Start with Cole. Find me at things uh, in Coltrane forever. That's about it. Then to the, the Chef Joe. The people can find me at Sh Joe Off the Island on Twitter, and you can also find me on YouTube with uh, Chef Joe G19, and that is also on DeviantArt. I'm hoping to have some projects uh, released in the future as long as I cooperate with my uh, fellow collaborators. But uh, anyway, what? All right, Reese, uh, our newest member to the Brotacast. Uh, oh, no, no, I meant, I meant not the Brotacast. <laughs> that, that's wrong, 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 wrong podcast. Oh, well, I, OA Wrestling Podcast, uh, Reese. Well, I don't know if this is just like a one-shot or anything, but uh, you can find me at RVDNator on Twitter, on Instagram, on Periscope. I run a weekly or bi-weekly wrestling blog. Uh, over at uh, PW Ponderings, just look at Reese's Wrestling Riffs, and Wrestling is spelled with an R. You can uh, follow us 
at uh, you can listen to our weekly ramblings over at the Brotacast at youtube.com slash Brotaku Hub. And uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, if you guys want me next week, but uh, if that's it, you can just find me there. Yep. Well, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see how that we'll see how that goes because obviously we don't have Sarge coming back for for a while. And uh, do you even know about that? No. What? Sarge yeah. is at basic. Oh, well, good for him, man. Yeah, for- he's uh, he's be- he's slowly being turned into Private Pal. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's, he's 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 turning into Sergeant Slaughter. Oh, oh God. dear Jesus! Oh no! No, no, wait, wait, wait! Even better, even better. He's going. He's uh, he's turning into uh, GI Bro. <laughs> and oh, it is. Com- and yes, that does make more sense. And his uh, commanding officer will be Hugh G. Rection. <laughs> Uh, Suki, Suki, take it away. I've been watching a lot of WCW 2000 when not, since I've been gone. I am so Nice. God, and, you know what's funny? I know about that because once or earlier I mentioned that I watched WB List with the other guys, and of course they brought up Harlem Heat. So, oh, so yeah, so they brought up what Steve, they brought up what Stevie Ray Vaughan or Stevie Ray did after splitting from Booker T for a bit. That being GI Bro. <laughs> Anyway, Suki, take it away. Uh, okay, so, of course, I am at Suki787 on Twitter, where I make it the stream announcements on this. Uh, maybe there'll be some other things going up on there. We'll see about that. YouTube channel, youtube.com slash attackerton backup. Uh, of course, if you're watching this on the channel, you already know that. Any, but, man, uh, other than that, make sure to join us every week here on livestream.com slash OA Wrestling, 8 p.m. Eastern, to- Eastern Time, or the live recordings of these shows. When the recorded versions go up on YouTube whenever the hell we get them done, so shut up. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, I got a life and job, people. I gotta do this on my spare time. Well, well college. Episode just episode eighteen just came out yesterday, so go up go listen to that. There yeah. we go. Can you yeah. fucking watch our show? I I, I I've been I I've been meaning to catch up. Yeah, hey, I've, I've been hey, trying. We, yeah. we got quite a few uh, viewers, Cole, and uh, we just need to promote it more yeah. and stuff. Go to audible.com. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have a. Sponsor. No, we don't have it. We don't have it. Audible.com. We don't have any promo codes. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I actually have a really promo code. Uh oh. Uh oh. Reese does? Yeah. If you go to. Uh... If you go to uh, George's over on uh, Lorraine, if you just go to the back and say uh, Brotacast, you can get a very special surprise. Ooh. God dang it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I just got it now. All right. Well, okay, we're not going elab- to elaborate on that. I'm just going to say I'm just gonna say that on that note, we're going to... We're I'm, on behalf of everybody on the panel and everybody here at OA Wrestling. I'm going to say good night, and we'll see you all next week on OA Wrestling. You now regret me. You now regret bringing me back. <laughs> <laughs>